HTML comments, short comments should be written on one line like this. So you open angle brackets, you type in exclamation mark, double hyphen, and this is where your comment goes. Then you finalize it by double hyphen and then you close the angle bracket. Comments that span more than one line should be written like this. So in the first line, you're gonna open angle brackets, exclamation mark, double hyphen, and the next line you're gonna you're gonna write your comment, and in the next line you're gonna write your next comment, and finally you're gonna put or you're gonna type in double hyphen, and then you're gonna close the angle brackets. Long comments are easier to observe if they are intended with two spaces. Using style sheets. Use simple syntax for linking to a style sheets like the type attribute is not necessary. The type attribute is not necessary. So here you have the link element, you have the rel attribute equal sign, double quotes, and then you have the style sheet. You have the href attribute equal sign, double quotes, and then the file that is in this case would be styles.css. And we already saw uh, these examples before. So, short CSS rules can be written compressed like this. So you have the p.intro and then you open angle uh, curly braces. You have the font family column is going to be Verdena semicolon. The font size is going to equal sign uh, 16 em, and then you close curly braces. Long CSS rules should be written over multiple lines. So you have, for example, uh, the body. You open curly braces and in the next line you have the background color and the next line you're gonna have the uh, font family and the next line you're gonna have the font size and then the color and finally you're gonna close the curly braces place the opening bracket on the same line as the selector use one space before the opening bracket use two spaces of indentation use semicolon after each property value pair including the last only use quotes around values if the value contains spaces. Place the closing bracket on a null line without leading spaces. Now, loading JavaScript and HTML. Use simple syntax for loading external scripts like the type attribute is not necessary. And we already saw this example before. So you open angle brackets, you have the script element, you have the source attribute, equal sign, double quotes. Inside of the double quotes, you're gonna type in uh, your JavaScript file in this case is going to be, I don't know, myscript.js and .js is the extension. Accessing HTML elements with JavaScript. Using untidy HTML code can result in JavaScript errors. These, t these two JavaScript statements will produce different results. So we're going to check those examples. Uh, okay, so you have the get element by ID inside of the parentheses inside of the double quotes. We're gonna have demo, but with the first letter is gonna be a capital D. Then we're gonna chain it to the inner HTML equal sign inside of the double quotes. We're gonna have this string hello semicolon, and then we're gonna have the next one get element by ID inside of the parentheses. We're gonna have the ID inside of the double quotes demo with lowercase d. We chain it to the inner HTML equal sign and then we're we're gonna assign it to this string hello so this is the the example and we can grab this example and go to Visual Studio Code we can go to Visual Studio Code and see we go to our index.html file so we're gonna open all plus l plus o and this is how it looks like uh, inside of the script the script element in line 10 we have the document that get element by id and we're passing this id but we are passing the id of uh, line 6 the lowercase uh, d that is the reason that we get we're getting uh, this is a paragraph one and then hello so yeah we have hello that and then this is paragraph uh, one so what happened we change it to to the second or to the first ID that is going to be the ID demo with uppercase letter D. So we're going to save it, we're going to open the file, and this is how it looks like. We have the hello dot, and this is paragraph 2. So this is how it's working. So 
use lowercase file names. Some web servers, Apache, Unix, are case sensitive about file names. Uh, we have landon.jpg, cannot be accessed as landon.jpg. You can see that the only difference is the capital letter, capital L. Other web servers, Microsoft, double IS or IIS, are not case, are not case sensitive. Landon.jpg can be accessed as uppercase landon.jpg. If you if you use a mix of uppercase and lowercase, you have to be aware of this. If you move from a case sensitive to a case sensitive server, even small errors will break your web. To avoid these problems, always use lowercase file names. We have the file extensions. HTML file should have that should have a that HTML extension. Uh, that HTM is allowed. CSS file should have a that CSS extension, and JavaScript file should have a that JS extension, as we previously saw in, in previous videos. Difference between uh, that HTM and that HTML. There is no difference between the that that HTM and that HTML file extensions. Both will be treated as HTML by any web browser and web server. The full file names. When a URL does not specify a file name at the end, for example, like https colon double forward slash triple w dot w3 schools that can slash the server just adds a default file name such as index.html, index.htm, default.html or default.htm. If your server is configured only with index.html as the default file name, your file must be named index.html and not default.html. However, servers can be configured with more than one default file name. Usually you can set up as many as many default file names as you want.